What's good, people? It's me, Clint, and I'm back for another tutorial. Really quick, it's something that I actually learned literally like a couple days ago, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, what it is is pretty much an easy way to get that gated effect on a synth sound that you hear a lot in EDM music. So I'll play the track that I have, then I'll solo the instrument that I put this effect on, and then I'll go in and, and kind of break down how I created that without actually you know, doing side chain compression and, and things like that, so. So that's the track without the effect. Now I'm going to throw the effect on so you can hear what that sounds like. All right, so let's dig into it. Um, this is how I created it. I'm walking through step by step, and it's pretty easy actually. So let's let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna start by disabling the tremolo effect that I have on there currently, and just create a new one. So you just uh, go down to modulation, and then pick the tremolo plugin. This should pop up. Um, if you play it, it, it has a weird tremolo effect naturally. It's called tremolo for a reason. But if you tweak some settings such as this phase, change the phase to zero so that both the left and the right channel matches, um, you can create this gated effect. You can also change the symmetry setting um, to kind of dramatize the effect more. The higher you go up or the lower you go up, the different sounds you have. You can also change the offset. Um, I usually keep it around 20. Um, to kind of give it the effect that I was going for on this particular track. Um, so you can play around with that and depending on what you're trying to do, um, just create some cool effects. You also have this smoothing effect that you can use to change the sound as well. Um, again, it kind of makes it more dramatic depending on what kind of sound you're going for. Um, so it's pretty cool. You also have the rate knob where you can change the timing of it. And then we have the depth knob which plays with the sound as well. So you got a, a few different um, options to, to kind of play around with to get sounds the way you want them and to get, you know, the effect how you want it. Uh, so it, it's pretty cool. I really wanted to share it with you guys because I thought it was dope and I'll definitely be using this moving forward. So if you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, peace.